All right, I'm down here at the 1411 disc bind, and uh, yeah, it was a nice day out, and I thought I'd take a look at this and see what we got here. That gearbox above there is leaking, and I cut the grass out around it because there was wads and wads of grass wrapped around that, or hay. There's still some up in there. That's what took the seal out. Anyhow, this is a grease fitting. This is a spline shaft. If I can get this bolt here out and this bolt here out, I think I can take that drive shaft down off of there. Let's take that protective cage off there. And uh, there's a bolt pattern up there. I should be able to drop that down. It should expose the seal. So we're going to try it here. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. All right. I got a broke loose. I couldn't use my impact and I don't have a I don't have a uh, electric ratchet. I'm down here in the combine shed. I don't have any power down here. Or air, so I had to do it the old fashioned way. Break them with a breaker bar and a pipe. Yeah, there's all kinds of grass. I'm wondering if there isn't a shield missing from there. Because there certainly shouldn't be grass able to wrap around that shaft. Lord knows there's enough grass down here for... army of cows I want to check the oil in these gear boxes obviously I'll have to add oil to that upper one but I need a manual for these things let's keep going around And around. Three out of four down. need to change some knives or change the blades all of them but as they're pretty shot and I think I have a few new ones but all right let me see what we can do to get that off there Oh yeah, it's gonna fall apart. Huh. All right, I need two hands. Piece of cake, all I had to do was turn it so it would slide out over that notch. There's a bolt right there in the top. As long as you turned it, slid it up over that notch. 
it popped right out of there. And that's what we're looking at. That's the dry shaft. This is the guard, which I don't think it's in bad shape, but just, I think there's something missing. There's no, there's no play in that, so we're gonna lay that up here for now. Let's see. I'm gonna take the take that plate off there. Let's see what's in there. So, all right, I'll bring it back. Well, I got the bolts out of it, and obviously there's still oil in it because it's running all over the place. So, yeah, let me get something to pry that down out of there. I don't think it'll be that tough, but I'm betting there's a seal in that plate. So let me get it apart. All right, here's what I ended up. I thought that was a seal, but that's just a tin guard it was on the bottom. Here's the seal. And there's, after all that, this is the crap that was plugging up the seal and making it leak. So, uh, yeah, I can't imagine it getting that much in there. These are shims. This does shim that lower bearing up, so I'll have to clean them up and put them back in there. But this here is a seal. You know, the, yeah. Get that cleaned up and get that seal out of there. This is going to be an easy fix. Alright. Thanks for watching. Alright. It's the 6th of June, I don't know, it's probably 10 or 11 o'clock. I, I got up this morning early and went up and sprayed my, sprayed my oats with a wash sprayer. And uh, that was, took me longer to get the thing hooked back together and hook the valves up and the, the pump on the tractor than it did to uh, spray three acres of oats. But uh, what I'm working on today is the 1411 because it's June, the sun is shining, the corn's planted. I do have another couple acres, maybe I'll plant. I got extra corn and fertilizer, so um, I don't know. I'll put the, the video up here from the first. Uh, I tore this apart, this tower, uh, apart last fall, and I got the bearing for the or the seal for the gearbox and put that stuff back in here just the other day. And uh, I've been putting new knives on this thing and uh, changing these things. I'm putting these cups on here, taking taking them cast iron pieces off there. I was told to do that by a, a famous YouTuber, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it or not. He highly recommended it. I know Ed Goslin runs New Holland hay mower and hay equipment, but uh, I don't know, this is my first disc mower. I'm gonna give her a try. I run a 488 hay bind for years and uh makes sense to take them off there it's just more weight swinging around so and uh i mean this machine ain't 
ain't great but it doesn't have a lot of play in it and for what i paid for it i can run it a couple years and double my money but i've got that tower all back together and a new seal in it new sec section or new uh new knife on there new knives clear across to here and believe it or not with all that new stuff there was 330 dollars in that box i got new bolts new knives new nuts i figured i might as well start out fresh here we go, we're gonna set this thing back together. Finish greasing it. Check the oil in it. I don't think I'm gonna get to... Ooh, hey, that's not right. I don't think I'm gonna get to uh mowing any hay this week but we're gonna get this thing ready to run and go try it out maybe the neighbors got some hay cut down so we'll see if it works yeah it, i got lost my washer so i gotta dig them out but yeah all in all i think it's a pretty good machine Need a little maintenance. I gotta put oil in that gearbox. Check the oil in this gearbox. And grease the drive line. So alright, I'll bring you back. There's a grease fitting there too. There's a grease fitting on the lower roll, but not the upper. That don't make any sense. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, it's a few days later. Uh, yeah, we end up, we got everything greased. We checked oil and everything. Kind of serviced it here. I've got it hooked up to the 1750. Uh, a little trying to figure out the hydraulic hoses. Uh, this is the lift. That over there is the swing. I thought it had double acting swing cylinders, but no. Uh, the swing cylinder, or yeah, double acting lift cylinders, but no. The swing is double acting. The lift is just single acting. And it also pivots the head with that cylinder right there. And that needs to be unlocked too, I think. Anyhow, yeah, I think that pin's got to come out of it. Not sure of that. Wish I had a manual, but I don't have a manual for it. Uh, but anyhow, I got it hooked up to the 1750. Uh, we got the corn planted and the stuff all put away and cleaned up last night. We give the 1750 a bath somewhat. And uh, we're gonna go uh, see if we can mow some hay with this thing, see how it works. So I'll bring you back.